Hey everybody. So I'm not even really sure how to describe how I ended up where I'm at. I'm on the Gander River now. I've wanted to fish this for quite some time. And uh, on my way back, I got some directions. I'm putting the plug back in my boat, my spare plug. I got beat to pieces coming in the road. I, uh, I got some directions on the way down here how to get to Fourth Palm Bar. And, uh, but his directions were spot on actually, so I uh, appreciate that to the guy in Glenwood who gave me the directions. It's all good, I'm here. I debated on even going out, but it's still early in the evening. I got my lunch in the boat. So I'm gonna go up and have a look and see what happens. I don't know how far I'm gonna go here. If I'm just gonna go to Fourth Pan Bar or if I'm gonna go up to Petrie's. One is down and one is up. If uh, there's any fish around, I may just stay here tonight somewhere close and see how it goes. Anyway, stay tuned. See if this motor starts now, because it just took a major pounding. Made it to Fourth Pan Bar. There's a couple of real nice guys down there. They having a good time, hanging out on their annual trip. And uh, so there's a scattered fish around. I don't think they're fishing too hard. They've had a couple of rises and stuff there. So my plan is I'm going to go over on the other side of that island. I've seen some fish over there moving. I'm going to leave these guys alone here. I'm going to go over there. But I got to put my chest waders on because the water is super low here. And me being an idiot, left my spare shear pin in the truck and I struck my motor twice coming into the beach here so uh, I don't want to end up having to roll back to the truck not that it's really that far I suppose I could certainly manage it but uh, I don't think I'm gonna screw around too much tonight it's getting kind of late so I think well 610 so I got several hours of fishing but I don't think I'm going back to uh, Torbay tonight or Clarenville I'm gonna set up the tent or sleep outside or do something I don't know and uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna fish down here and then I'm gonna go up to Petrie's for a look see what that's all about when I got a shear pin so the reason I'm putting my waders on in the boat is when I get over there I'm gonna walk it in I'm gonna walk it out of here but I'm gonna walk it ashore over there because I don't want to beat my shear pin up we'll see you in a minute so I'm going to go super slow and leave the motor in shallow water drive. I'm looking at the bottom of the river here and I can see uh, lots of aluminum markings on the bottom of the, the bottom of the rocks there, on top of the rocks on the bottom of the river. This is where I'm going over here. It's a good sign there, there's a guy in the boat over there on the other side of the island with a fish on. very far from the boat tonight. I'm gonna take my lunch. So I just walked out there, walked down where I saw fish peeling too earlier there, second cast, bang, I hooked them, nice fish, it was more than six pounds for sure, not that that matters, I uh, couldn't keep him anyway, but uh, he had a good run down the river, got tangled up in some rocks and he's gone, and a uh, boat came down there and a little guy about 10 years old came down and tagged the second fish of the day, uh, best fish I saw I caught all week, he was doing the silly after, it was pretty awesome, so uh, I guess I'm going to fish here till dark now, so I'm gonna have a cup of coffee now and uh, get geared up, get some jab batteries in the GoPro. I went down there when I rolled my fish, of course, and the battery I put in the GoPro was no good. So that kind of screwed me up. I didn't get any footage of that, but that's okay. Sometimes it's nice just to fish too. Fire 
maple going here. Ran out of my favorite coffee. So I'm drinking the Maxwell House Instant. We'll see how this goes. That might be strong. Gotta say, it's a beautiful spot here. I'll do a little pan around with the camera now in a second when I get my uh, little snack on the go. I also gotta get my walking stick. I was out there in the river. I always use a walking stick or a wading stick. Out in the river here is uh, pretty necessary there to have a wading stick. A little bit of boat activity here. So I'm fishing on top of Fourth Pond Bar now on top of the rip. Just flicked on the camera, I just rose the fish there a second ago. I wasn't really paying attention, but he came pretty savage. We'll see, see if it comes back. See if we can get a fish, uh, Gander River fish on film. Ho ho, he came nice that time. He came nice that time. Nice big fish too. I'm fishing a six pound test leader here. So this is going to be interesting. It was a big, big savage rise that time. So that's not the fish I just rose, that's a different fish. It was inside of where I was. Fourth Pine Bar, again, the River Newfoundland. He took a nice the first time, he only came once. So I still got another fish that rose for the fly twice. Hopefully this one doesn't disturb it. I'm not letting them go too far there. I got the drag tightened up. I'm going to hold them. Because I'm not chasing them down the river. This is it. This is his final run for me. I'm going to hold them here now. This is where I really, really should have a net. It's a big fish. Wow. He's bigger than I thought. I'm gonna try and get him in, so I'll see if I can get a still picture from the video. Real, real nice Gander River fish. The one that I hooked earlier was a big fish as well. 
a big fish on six pound test leader. My biggest fish of the year. Well folks, that was fantastic. That was a 67 or 68 centimeter fish. Unfortunately, he took my fly. I'm fishing with a six pound test leader. I was trying to get him, get him in for a picture, but I also wanted to uh, let him go quick. So that's what I did. Another fish on. Made two steps in a different spot, and on she come. Jesus, that's another big fish. Wow. When I get back tonight, I'm gonna have to put on some eight pound test leaders so I can horse these in quicker. Beautiful, beautiful evening. Wow. Good Lord. I got a hold of them there. I can't let them go. I can't let them go down the rapids. Man, oh man, the size of the fish here. Tight lines. See if we can get this one to come up for a splash now and get a picture of him. No, oh, he didn't like that. I'm gonna work my way down into this stiller water here. See if I can get a picture of him before I let him go. Cause he's not coming around that rock. That's what's spooking him there is that rock. I'm just going to move into the shallower water here. If I can get in here behind this rock, this is where I'm going to bring him into right here. I'm looking up at the top of my rod and I should be looking down at the fish. This whole GoPro thing is a bit tough. He wants to go in that way.
I'd rather keep them out here in the deeper water if I can. This is where I'm going to lose them now. All right, I got to bring them in now. Either we get a picture or we don't. I'm holding him. He's not going now. Beautiful, beautiful grills. So I'm gonna add there, I'm back to the boat now, I'm gonna add that that was probably the least smooth release of a fish that I've ever friggin' done. I got the hook out, held him up, put him back in the water, revived him. When I let him go, he got tangled up in my line, got tangled up in my GoPro. I just got in after river and it's getting late, it's 9.30. I was gonna try and find a place to camp, but there's quite a few flies and I didn't wanna go up in the woods, I don't really know where I'm going here. So I'm gonna pitch my tent on the grass here. There's a, I think this is a fishing or hunting lodge. There's nobody around here, there's quite a few buildings and stuff. There's a nice open spot that look, overlooks Fourth Pan, so I'm going to stay here tonight, and I hope that the fine people who own this place don't mind. I'll uh, pack up early tomorrow morning anyway, so I probably won't see anybody, but if you happen to recognize this spot in the video, thank you for your hospitality, and I, again, hope you don't mind. I'm going to stick up my tent now. Flies are not nice here tonight, and I have a pretty high tolerance for them too, so that'll give you some indication of how they are. This is the uh, Eureka Timberline tent that I bought off of that uh, guy, and he fished again the river quite a bit actually, so the tent is returning to its stamp. The tent is returning to its stamping grounds. So I'm gonna take a chance tonight, it's not supposed to rain. So I'm not even, oh man, the flies. So I'm not even going to uh, put the fly on this tonight. If it rains up and I get wet, well, so be it. There you have it, folks, my uh, Eureka tent. I'll stretch it out a bit there. Stretch out the corners. I'm gonna stick an air mattress in there. And this is going to be my view for tonight. Recording. Jesus, I laid the phone on the dash. It was still recording. If you want to experience Labrador fishing, you don't need to go to Labrador, just come to Gander, because those fucking flies are just is every bit as bad as they are up there, here. And I think they're bigger. Look at that, my, I look for my GoPro, fuck's sakes, look at me. Stunned. And I don't even know if I'm going to tell you yet, because this might just be a total shit show. Jesus, I had to take a break. 
I just beat in over, I don't know, 30 kilometers of gravel road. And, uh, motors don't like that. I just have a guts out of myself trying to get this freaking thing going. Whew, anyway, the only other thing here I noticed right after is uh, either someone had some cable to spread in their garden in one of these cabins, or I really need to go home and change my clothes because man, I stinks. See you up the pan. Jesus, he's gone with me riding me line. Fucking GoPro strap. <laughs> well, I uh, had a head strap for my GoPro. And uh, now I don't. The whole fucking thing. <coughs> I released my rod, but I got that back. But unfortunately, when I released the fish, I also released the head strap off my GoPro. Obviously, I still have the GoPro. Loop reels number one. My head strap and half of my fucking snap mount are gone. But uh, on the bright side of things is I still have my GoPro. I'm not quite sure how I managed that or what exactly I did there. I thought I had my GoPro and everything gone. Anyway, I guess I'm going to sign off now. I won't be getting any more footage from the uh, Gander River, I don't think. Yeah, so I let fly go. Fly's gone. My only blue charm. The fish is gone. I'm going to head back up to the truck. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed those couple of fish on the Gander River. Fourth pound bear. And uh, I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube and Instagram and stay safe underwater, everybody.